Taurus. Hey Taurus, welcome back to my channel. And this is a week ahead reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or wherever you have a heavy Taurus placement. Please keep in mind this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with every single Taurus. And it's for a week ahead, so it's a prediction, so you don't know yet. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm paying for what I did to you. So the energy that I'm picking up with this message is that your person may have mishandled you. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm picking up here. Um, your person may have taken your kindness for weakness. Your person may have thought that the love and the attention and the generosity that you were giving them, I feel like they didn't see the value in it at, at the time here. Um, and now that that energy has been taken away from them, your person is feeling it right now. Your person regrets how they treated you um, because they are now realizing that people like you are rare. It's very rare to find people who really um, are genuine and who really operate from their heart space and who actually have the patience and the compassion to hold space for people to grow. Um, your person is going through some changes right now in their lives. A lot of things are being um, taken away from them um, in order for them to grow, in order for them to learn, and in order for them to heal and become their best version at this time. And it's, it's, it's pretty rocky for them, okay? I'm just picking up a really, really tense energy right now. Um, your person is definitely going through some tough transitions right now. And it seems as if they keep being brought back to thoughts of you, maybe things that they said to you, maybe things. I'm getting more of an emotional kind of um, emotional tension here um, where you could have openly expressed yourself. I'm just feeling the feminine energy, just being really open, being really giving, being really understanding, really caring, you know, um, and just being met with a lot of pushback, which made you feel kind of um, bad for for being yourself, for being a genuine person, for being a loving soul. And when you finally got to the point where you were like, okay, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna go about my business here. Um, I'm seeing that the way your person reacted, maybe there was silence and you were like, wow, maybe this person just really don't understand the severity of what they did here. Well, now their energy is coming through saying, not only do I understand it, but I'm actually paying for what I did to you. I'm paying for mishandling you. And this may show up in their lives in many, many different ways, but they're actually receiving the spiritual lessons for the things that they did to you. Wow. Okay, let's get the next message. We have right person, wrong time. Okay. So the energy that I'm picking up here is that your person knew that you were the type of person that they wanted, that they needed. You had the qualities that they were looking for. You had everything that they were looking for, but there was something, it, it may have seemed like there was always a barrier coming in between your connection. This one is, is showing up as the timing was always off here. I'm getting the, 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 um, the image of like your person feeling as if they were existing in two places, wanting to be there for you, wanting to be the person that you needed them to be, but also still having baggage or still having um, certain attachments that wouldn't allow them to exist fully within your connection. And I'm picking up that the feminine energy, you felt this. You felt that the love was there. You felt that the bond was established here, but you're like, something here just doesn't feel off. You know, the divine feminine is extremely intuitive. And you may have picked up this energy where my person is not giving me 100%. Yes, I know that they love me. Yes, I know that the connection is has already been established. We have a really deep bond, but there's something about their energy that's not fully, fully opening up to me here. And... It was something about the timing here. It was something about the timing here. Your person wants you to know that. 
So let's get the next message here. We have, I can't forget what you said that day. Hmm. So there's a specific conversation. You'll know this, this message is for you. If you had a specific conversation with your person, okay, where I'm picking up the feminine energy, you really, really expressed yourself, okay? Um, and this didn't have to be a big blow up. I mean, it could have been for some of you, you know, but I'm feeling like you and your person had a very serious conversation. This could have been before you guys, before you went no contact or the last time you spoke, but you really expressed yourself to your person and your person was able to really see a side of you that you probably didn't openly show them all the time. So the way that you expressed yourself, the way that you, um, the way that you expressed your emotions and how you were feeling about everything that they were doing to you, Step, it stuck out to them at that moment and it's something that they replay on their minds over and over and over and over again, okay? I'm getting that you let your person know exactly how it was that you felt, okay? Exactly how you felt about what they were doing, about how they were mishandling you, about how you felt like the energy just wasn't matching or something like that. I'm getting that your person may have even denied it at that point in time, but they knew deep down that you were right about it. I'm getting they weren't ready to really go in detail and really talk about it because you know you felt that their energy was blocked and it was blocked in some kind of way. But your person cannot forget what you said to them. Whatever it is that you said to them, they cannot stop replaying it over and over and over again. So yeah. Wow. Okay, let's go to the next message here. Wow. We have give me another chance. Look, this is a demand. <laughs> Your person is not, this person is not even asking. They're saying give me another chance. Like, you have to give me another chance. Your person... Your person, the, the, the energy that I'm picking up here is your person feels like shit, okay? Um, they had no idea, no idea that they were really mishandling someone of your caliber. That, that That's just what I'm getting here. Like the energy is super intense. Your person is almost demanding like, no, I need to have another chance because... I had no idea, you know, that you were this powerful, okay? The Divine Feminine Energy that I'm picking up here, you are extremely powerful. I mean, spiritually, you know, to the point where your Divine Masculine, whatever it is that you say to them, like your words hold weight to this masculine here, okay? You're very in tune with them. I feel like they can pick up on your energy and they know exactly how you feel and you don't even have to say a word. You know what I mean? You have this way of communicating with your masculine where they know, you know, that first of all, they know any man would be lucky to have you. That's number one. But then they're like, you know what? I have to have another chance with this divine feminine. You know, they're not even asking. They're like, give me another chance. Wow. Let me see. Mm, wow. We have, I've cried over you. Wow. I feel like your, your person is doing, maybe going through a lot of healing right now. I feel like spiritually, there is a spiritual shift that's happening right now. Your person may be going through spiritual upgrades where things that may not have affected them in the past or may not have moved them in the past is moving them deeply at this time right now. Like they have you on their mind so much. They they are replaying the events of this connection over and over and over again. Like really just cringing at their own at their own behavior. Um, a lot of them have grown a lot since the last time that you've spoken to them or the last time that you've seen them. And maybe you still have this image of your person in your mind where you're like, oh no, you know, um, we've tried that before. I couldn't get through to them, but you did get through to them because whatever it is that you said to your person, it literally plays on their minds and their hearts every single day, okay? 
Let's get to the next, the last message here. Wow. We had, would you pick up if I called you? <laughs> yeah, your person is ready to, to come towards you here. I feel like there's a conversation that needs to be had between you two. I feel like there's a lot of growth that has happened here. I feel like your person is definitely experiencing a lot of growth here. Um, and, and being faced with the choices that they made in the past. And they're realizing that they really did mishandle a genuine, beautiful soul here. That was the Divine Feminine. And they want to talk to you about it. They may feel as if maybe you won't answer the phone. Maybe you don't even want to. Maybe the divine feminine told. Maybe the divine feminine told them, "I don't even want to talk to you. Like I'm, I'm over it. I don't ever want to talk to you again." So your person may be feeling like, "Well, if I call her, will she, will she pick up? Can we talk about this?" Um, your person does want another chance with you. They do want a chance to show you the growth that they have established during this time that you were away from each other. Um, and they also want to show you how much you. You really, really mean to them because they definitely screwed up the first time around here. Yeah, they screwed up the first time around here. So your person may be reaching out to you here. I'm even getting an image of your person texting you. Like they're texting you long paragraphs and then deleting them. Um, they could be watching you if you have them on social media. They could be watching you from afar. Social media, if you have mutual friends, they could be casually like asking about you. Like trying to feel, like kind of trying to check the temperature to see if it's okay to call you, if it's okay to reach out to you. So be aware of that. You probably feel really, really intense energy. You probably been seeing a lot of signs, maybe seeing your person's name because they, they are definitely pulling on your energy at this time. Okay, so keep that in mind. Well, those are all the messages that I have for tonight. If you resonated with the video, be sure to like on your way out so that other people, so that others are able to see the video as well. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Go. Bye.